Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Annie Petrova and I'm a freelance marketing consultant and a full-time mom based in London, UK. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video of mine you're watching, here I'm sharing all my experience and tips on how to run your own business, uh, business development, marketing, tech, and working from home and remotely. So if this is something you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any of my future content. In today's video, we're going to talk about remote working or working from home. I'm going to touch on the advantages and disadvantages so if this is something you're interested in make sure you stay with me till the end so as you can see this is not my usual setup I'm currently traveling in a way so that's why I thought it'd be nice to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, working remotely and from home so it's been a year since I started my own business last year and became a freelancer and started working remotely so I already have a pretty good experience of the advantages and disadvantages of working on your own or from home or remotely from a remote distance so if this is something you are looking to explore in the future to maybe become a freelancer or apply for any remote positions so watch the video till the end so working remotely and from home um, it provides lots of advantages to most people it really sounds amazing because you don't need to commute you don't need to travel you stay at home um, you organize your own time um, you're very much flexible to do uh, whatever and whenever you decide and it's pretty awesome but then again along with all the advantages there is a few disadvantages that you have to take into account when considering whether you want to pursue a remote career and working from home or distantly so let's start with the first disadvantage of working remotely it is basically communication nowadays you have lots of technologies that allow you to stay in touch with other colleagues you know from um, in other parts of the business which is great you know you have zoom you have slack um, you have skype and there's so many other messaging and conference tools but still at some point it might become difficult and a bit challenging especially if your other colleagues are actually not working remotely and they're working and they're working in the office you might feel a bit of a, like an outsider and if you don't catch up uh, with um, your colleagues on a regular basis you might kind of feel um, behind but my advice here would be to um, schedule a weekly catch-up calls with your team, the rest of your team, um, to make sure that you are on the same page, to make sure that you are following on all the activities and actions that you are supposed to, you know, everyone on the team is supposed to work on. So I think here that's a really important tip. You have to make sure, even if, uh, you know, your manager or the rest of the team are not insisting on having regular catch-ups, you should, as a remote worker you should insist on having those because it's just for your own good to make sure that you are on the same page with everyone else in the company and you're not left behind the second challenge is um, loneliness you know you might feel a bit lonely especially if prior to working remotely you've worked as part of a team and an office environment it's different when you have people around you that you can go and talk or just um, you know discuss uh, the show that you watched last night and it's completely different when you don't have have anyone and it's just you at home with the computer so it might feel a bit lonely at some time so one way to tackle this is to make sure that you organize your time and day in such a way that you have regular meetings with people during the day so you organize meet up with maybe with some colleagues like uh, once a week or with clients or even with friends you have other friends who are working um, from home and remotely that's one one thing um, the other thing is that you can go to a cafe a co-work working space and the good thing about working remotely is that you can work from anywhere so you, you're not stuck to your uh, computer at home or to your desk so I would say make sure you take advantage of that flexibility and go and spend the time around people you know it's still that depends on the type of personality you are and, and how productive you are uh, because myself for example I work um, much better when I'm on my own I don't get distracted that much so I actually prefer being on my own and being alone Alone, but some people they don't like that so the third challenge of working remotely is the organization of your day and your own time um, if you are an organized person that won't be a problem at all but let's say if you are a bit more chaotic um, in your approach 
and the, the way you spend your time it might get a bit difficult to organize your time and uh, you can get distracted quite easily you know because you would have all the stimulus at home um, when you don't have the work set up desk and the office you might feel like you're not at the work place you might not get motivated and feeling like working so I think the two tips here is first when you wake up in the morning um, get dressed up if you're a woman um, you can put on some makeup so prepare in the same way like you were going to prepare for going to work for example the, the other trick is to block different times um, in your timetable for different things and make sure you reduce um, and get rid of all the distractions around you for example like your mobile phone you know um, turn off all your social media turn off the TV and all the other distractions like radio and stuff if that's possible just make sure that you uh, don't have all the distractions around you you have the working setup maybe it might worth even preparing like a, a spot at your um, you know in your home like a working spot where you have your computer and all the tools um, for your work so you know that this is your working place and when you you sit there you actually you need to work and um, so you don't get distracted and you can focus and finally the last challenge of uh, working remotely and or working from home is the fact that um, it might get pretty hard to find the balance between work and life because you know you're working from home so it pretty much feels like you'll be working um, all the time um, so one thing I would suggest is that you turn off your emails and um, all your communication tools with the rest of the team and you actually switch off after working hours or whenever you want to spend some off work time with your family or social times with your friends so make sure at that time you're actually present and you're not actually still thinking and uh, okay connected to your devices, <laughs> mobile devices and you're st still thinking about to work. So these are the main challenges of uh, working remotely or from home. There is of course lots of advantages like the, the main is the flexibility and uh, the fact that you can organize your own time, um, you can have your own schedule, you can um, have more time to spend with family and friends because you for example you don't need to commute, you can also save money in this way so it could be less Less costly for you. You might also get more productive um, if you get more distractions in the office. It really depends on the type of person you are. But generally, I mean, just like anything in this life, there is advantages and disadvantages, and you really have to consider what setup works best for you and make sure that you follow that so the good thing is that actually nowadays there's lots of remote opportunities out there for all those people who want to have that flexibility and they want to be managing their own time and they don't like the nine to five setup uh, and if you're looking for an opportunity like that um, there's lots of places like specific websites for remote work so yeah go for it i would say me personally i've been loving it as i said sometimes you might get a bit difficult especially when you have kids <laughs> but generally it's great experience and I definitely recommend it to anyone who is considering who is ready to to take on that challenge so um, thank you for watching I hope you found this video useful if you have any further questions or comments on remote working make sure you share them in the comments below and um, also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content and I'll see you in the next video bye bye